over three and a half years ago, we found out that our youngest, Max, was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Duchenne is a rare, fatal genetic disease. It is a slow death sentence. In fact, we had one of the top specialists that we visited say, you know, you don't have to come back next year. Give us a call when something changes. Our first reaction was to just accept for the moment that there was nothing we could do because there was no reliable treatment or cure for that matter. And we, and we decided that we were gonna live life to the fullest. There's no pharmaceutical company and no healthcare organization that is going to get rich off of curing a rare disease because they only affect a small population and there's all of these different mutations. We are seeing obviously some differences between him and his sisters and, and other kids his age. One of the first indicators for this disease is toe walking because their muscles get very tight. He's wearing nighttime braces so that his heel cord is stretched. He gets very lethargic at the end of the day because his muscles are tired. The hardest part is the thought of losing him and having him not have quality of life that we believe he should have. We met Rich Horgan and that was the beginning of the most hopeful piece to this journey. Rich has taken matters into his own hands. Rich's younger brother has this disease, and so since we met Rich, everything has changed. My, my entire outlook has changed. How can you stop a disease? You know, how do you, how, how do you stop death? You know, I, it's hard. Being a part of a family that's been impacted by this disease, not only with my brother, but also my mother's three brothers and her mother's brother before that, it's something that's haunted my family now for generations. Grappling with those feelings of powerlessness and, and anger really drove me to, to start this. The, the ultimate goal of Cure Rare Disease is to change the paradigm of drug development. To enable and establish a process by which even a, a single patient of a single disease can get treatment for their disease. The LEC Lab here in New Haven at the Yale School of Medicine is pioneering the development of customized therapeutics. What makes us different? is the fact that we're designing a therapeutic based on the individual's DNA. In less than a year, we've developed a tailor-made therapeutic specific to my brother's mutation, based on my brother's genetic profile that cured his cells in a dish, and have formed an organization that's capable of driving this forward into the clinic and dosing Terry. What's really exciting is that we're not doing a one-size-fits-all therapy. We have been really fortunate to partner with Cure Rare Disease and work on precision medicine tailored to specific therapies for treating patient mutations and treating patient cells. The collaboration that we formed is really remarkable. It's comprised by people and individuals who have been touched by rare disease at different parts in their life. My name is Monk Olek and I'm an assistant professor of genetics at Yale School of Medicine and my sister was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy and then in my early 20s I got a diagnosis that I too had a muscular dystrophy. So it's been my mission to actually understand the disease better and also work on genetic therapies for patients such as myself. We're looking at ways of scaling um, some of the precision medicine we're doing in terms of going from a genetic disease to genetic therapies that uh, precisely target the mutation in particular patients and learning from that process uh, a way of scaling that up. I have a very rare disease and there is no cure right now. So when I met Rich, I saw a passion and a hope and an optimism that I hadn't felt since 2014 when I heard gene therapy was right on the forefront. We're having success mainly because we have a great team here at Yale and they're very driven and we're very focused on what we want to achieve. We are basically going directly to the lab. There's no pharmaceutical company. We're working alongside clinical specialists. We take cells from patients that we've actually met. You know, it, it drives you to get up early in the morning. It drives you to stay late every night and come in on weekends and, and work your butt off trying to get a cure for, for these patients. The hope that I have for Max is that we're able to dose him before he ever even realizes that he has the disease. If we can cure Max and cure other boys with Duchenne, we can make this scalable and we can cure other genetic fatal diseases. I want to give others hope that you don't have to listen to a diagnosis and make it be your end result. You can always look for a path forward that differs from the prognosis you are given. 
will this change the world? I hope so, I really do. For my brother's sake, for Max's sake, for the 10% of America out there that suffers from a rare disease because there's too many people that are forgotten.